Good day, good dog, and Morius, y'all. The first bit of Warzone is starting to form around the TAC-56 due to its versatility. It's not by any standards the best gun in any category, but it's a great all-rounder. To me, the best part of this gun is the low recoil that makes long-range gunfights just a tad easier. This made me think whether the other ARs known for their low recoil would be any good compared to the TAC-56. Two main competitors that we'll be looking at are the Lockman 556 and the M13B. And for those who don't know, you unlock the 556 through leveling your rank to 16 to get the Lockman 762, and then leveling that to weapon level 13. The M13B needs to be picked up in DMZ, either by completing the chemist mission or picking it up from a buddy of yours, dropping it to you. Guess which method my lazy ass chose. But as I said, all three guns have low and easily controllable recoil even in their base format. And even more so when they are kitted with some attachments. Here's a comparison of the recoil with all three weapons without attachments and how they compare with each other shot from 10 meters away. Here's the same thing with the guns kitted out with attachments that I just happened to choose. No tuning has been applied because I haven't maxed out all three guns. If we put the default and attachment enhanced recoil patterns side by side, it's as expected. The guns with attachments have lower vertical and horizontal recoil. But we were interested in the long range capabilities of these guns in the hands of a less capable player. So here's my attempt to control the recoil of all the guns from 30 meters. Unsurprisingly, the results are relatively like each other. And the biggest difference is the feel of the gun under sustained fire. Based on this aspect alone, I definitely go for the TAC-56 or for the Lachman 556. There's obviously still the damage of all three weapons that needs to be considered to make a fully informed decision on which gun you should choose. And if we look at these graphs, we can see that the TAC-56 is the best overall choice in two and three play situations, all the way until 55 meters, after which the M13B starts to dominate. So what should you do? I'd say it depends. If you want a pure, long-range laser beam that slams, you should go for the M13B. But if you want something that works in more than just one use case, then you're definitely better off with the TAC-56 or Lockman 556. That's it for me this time around. Really hope the short analysis and the recoil examples made sense and will help you choose the gun that suits you best as your long-range AR. Let me know which gun you went for in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, and maybe see you in the next video. Morries!